Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business and success strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your genius, which is a combination of your expertise and life experience to create a profit generating business based on your purpose. And today I want to do a part two to the video that I did yesterday. So yesterday I did a, uh, a video and, and I got a lot of feedback from it and it was transforming your passive audience into paying clients. So I know that this is a, an ongoing problem for uh, many of my business friends. And so this is something that uh, I think is under recognized, you know, everyone's saying get clients, get clients. And everybody's thinking, you know, you need to go and get uh, new clients. And so uh, my video yesterday, and this is the second part to it, um, really addresses uh, the clients that you have now, which are, is your current audience. And while they're not buying, as I spoke about yesterday, they in fact are paying you, not with uh, green cash, but with their attention. There's nothing more valuable than time. And I know, you know, I'm very... Uh, my dad was a, a civil engineer. You know, I'm very um, time conscious. And uh, time is the one thing that you just will never get back. You can earn money, but without time, um, you know, the clock, there is a clock uh, on the wall and in your life. And you could earn all the money you want, but if you run out of time. So they're paying you with their most valuable asset right now which is um, their time. So I'm just going to review quickly the six things that I covered yesterday um, that are preventing your, uh, your free audience from turning into paying clients. So number one, you're not uh, ABIing them, which is always be inviting. You're, not, uh, you're afraid of being salesy, and so you're not inviting them to things at the end of everything that you do the end of your blog post, at the end of a video, uh, at the, on Facebook. You know, uh, Facebook is a, is a tool. And, you know, with the new algorithms especially, um, I know people often say, you know, well, I'm not using my personal page for business. You are in Facebook groups, I'm assuming. And so, yes, you are. I call it business casual. Uh, and I actually did a video on it. You can find it on my YouTube channel. But in actuality, you know, every time, now that you have a business and you're an online business, every time you show up, which means every time you're online, not when you want to show up, um, you know, your first impression is made not when you want it to be made, it's made when the other person sees you. And so you don't have a nine to five schedule. Um, in, in fact, you know, you just represent yourself um, when you wake up every day. I, I kind of hold that rule in life. You know, I was the uh, um, shopping center retail marketing director for 25 years. And, you know, I, I was a shopaholic. <laughs> so, plus, I used to work, I used to be so, I used to be a workaholic. And so I used to go into the mall on weekends. Um, you know, uh, every time I showed up there, even if I was just shopping with friends, I was showing up. And that meant that regardless if I was wearing jeans or not, um, I was being, uh, I had to be somewhat professional. The same goes for you online. Hi, Lenise. The same goes for you online because you, uh, you have a personal brand. And so, you know, even if it's like midnight and you're like posting, you know, wow, I want ice cream. Well, you better um, remember that, uh, you know, you're representing your brand. Anyway, I kind of got off subject. So you want to ABI, always be inviting. The second thing I talked about yesterday was that you need to sell the results. So about like 80% of what you do when you speak is selling the result that, that, the, that your target audience wants, not what it is that you do. So, you know, I often hear people, you're very obsessed, which you should be, about what you created, which is awesome. But that 12-step program that's like 50 pages and, you know, has like 20 mod modules, um, 
all they care about is, does it get me the result that I want? Does it clear my skin? Does it help me lose weight? Does it fix my health problem? Does it, will it make me money? Can I get clients? So uh, you need to sell the result. The third thing that you're not doing is that you become their friend. You know, Facebook, again, um, causes this, this um, perception and while they may be your friends, I have a lot of my, I call them BBFs, your best business friends. You know, I call them that because I think that they're, they're fabulous. And some of them I, I consider my friend. But as a business owner, and when they are looking to me as a business owner, I am their trusted advisor. So there's a fine line between uh, being too friendly and being seen as a trusted advisor. This means, as a trusted advisor, you are actually advising them. You, you know, I have a program that can help you. you. You need to be bold enough to say that if you have a program that can help them. You also need to be bold enough to say, you know what, I can't solve this problem, but I know somebody that can. You're their trusted advisor. Take that role seriously. This is a, um, a good way just to up-level your perception of who it is that you're speaking to. You speak to, and I would hope you do this in life, you speak in such a way that you want to be spoken to. So if I were, let's say, following somebody and I thought that they were my answer and they actually, you know, in their head they're thinking, oh, I don't have that answer, but I'm just going to, I just want to get clients, um, you know, you would want them to tell you, Right. So you need to communicate with the same authority. This is not being mean. It's not being salesy. Um, remember, you have a business and you're advising them. You know, if you had the, the cure to cancer and one of your friends, um, your, your, uh, your followers uh, had cancer, do you think that it would be your responsibility to say, I have a program here that can help you cure your cancer? It's the same thing if you have, you know, whatever it is that, that you sell. It should be that you believe in it that much. The fourth thing I talked about yesterday was that you're not investing in them. You're so busy trying to get clients that you've forgotten that you have this passive audience that tunes into you every day, that reads your, your material, that's in your Facebook group. These people are trusting you. And so if you're so busy trying to get clients, build your list and do all these things, of course they're not buying from you. You're not even solving their problem. Uh, the fifth thing is, is that uh, you're not using scarcity. So I went into depth on this yesterday because I know that scarcity is a very scary thing. Taking it off the market, limiting time, raising the price. It makes it seem like you're like pushing away money. But in actuality, the way that um, our human brains work, if you can shift your perception of, of what scarcity is into um, I value my work and I want to deliver the solution to somebody. Understand that they have that same human brain that is run by their fear brain and so, and, and it is the human condition to want to procrastinate on big choices. It is, it is just the way that we humans are, are designed. You know, if there's that heavy thing, especially if it involves money, you, you like put it in the back burner. And sometimes you unconsciously put it in the back burner. Your kids are screaming, you know, it's the first day of school. I have, um, you know, what am I going to wear this morning? <laughs> You have so many different thoughts going on in your head, 60 to 80,000 of them, that they, it may not be that they don't want what you have. They just think that they have forever. So if you can shift, your, shift the paradigm to how you think about scarcity from, you know, most people think like, oh, but it's so sleazy and it's scary, to I value what I do and I really want to help this person. Just understand it's one of the six human influences. So... Um, you know, you shift the paradigm and watch my video yesterday if you want more explanation. And then the sixth thing that you're not doing to transform your, your passive audience into paying clients 
is that you're not selling what they need. So this is something that it can happen to you if you're new to business and it also can happen to you if you've been successful in your past and now you've lost touch with your current audience. So this is something I, I have not seen addressed anywhere, so I don't know if anyone's talking about this, but um, this often happens to people who may have made money in the past, you know, you had a, 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 an active audience, and then, set, you know, it seems like suddenly, but it's probably like a little bit over time, it just starts dwindling away, and then you go into like, oh my God, I gotta get, go get clients. And uh, it's, it, this is what today's video is going to talk about. So if you want a review on what I just talked about uh, it from yesterday's video, you can watch that video. It's on my YouTube channel um, uh, at Shauna Yao, Y-A-O. Uh, and you can also uh, read the article that I just, I haven't released it yet, but it's at totalgenius.net backslash get dash clients. Uh, it's just a recap of everything that, that I talked about. Okay, so uh, let's see. So today I want to talk about the one thing. Regardless of you, so if you do all those things that I talked about yesterday, that I just briefly summarized, there's still, if you're not doing this one thing, this could be the reason why. This one thing could transform your whole business. And most people... Um, don't apply it. And you know why you don't apply it? Because you don't realize it. You don't know it. So I'm, I'm going to talk about the three brains, my favorite thing. I'm going to include this in every video. We have three brains. Our fear, fight or flight brain, which is where all things are judged at first. Um, are you trying to sell me? Do I want to eat you or mate with you? That's the old caveman brain. The, set, the second brain where the information passes through is your emotional brain, where the, your heartfelt decisions, your gut reactions, those are true decisions. So when somebody is like trying to decide whether or not they should work with me and they're like, I can't, you know, I'm trying to decide. I tell them if it's not a gut reaction, then, um, you know, you, it may not be the right thing for you. I don't want to lure someone just out of money. Because gut reactions are like, you know, if you love chocolate ice cream, you just love it. You don't know why, but you love it. Um, when you fall in love, that's a gut reaction, a heartfelt feeling. Because you know it deep inside. Your emotional brain is actually your smart brain. Then you have your stupid thinking brain, the logical one that learns, but also justifies anything that you believe to be true. So this is why people that are anorexic think that they're fat. They actually believe it to be true, and their stupid thinking brain will come up with a million reasons why they're fat. This means that uh, when, when decisions are forced into your stupid thinking brain, um, you know, it, bad things happen. So anyway, we have those three brains. This means, so if you take it into your passive audience's heads, because again, remember, we're all human, uh, there are three schools of thought that you need to appeal to with your business. Okay? I talked about this in my copywriting video. There's the things that, that you know, that, that they know that they're thinking, that they would say out loud. I'm so fat. I'm so fat, I need to go on a diet. Sorry, I use this fat one a lot just because <laughs> uh, I, that was my past. Um, okay, wait, so I'm so fat, I need to go on a diet. Then you have your emotional brain, which, um, so you have to speak to that. So it, it's the, it's a thought that they're having, but they actually don't, uh, they, they're not saying it out loud. I'm so fat and it makes me hate my best friend. I can't be around her. She's so skinny. I feel so bad. But you know, does she say that to her best friend? No. But inside she's like beating herself up. You know, that's the, the thoughts that she's thinking that if you said, she'd be like, oh my God, she's in my head. What is going on? Then there's the third school of thought that they don't know that they're thinking. So this is a very interesting one because 
uh, you know, this lives inside of them. They actually don't know um, that, they, that they need it, that they're thinking it, that it's causing their problem, but it's actually that root cause. And so uh, your business and your copy, like this is, this, this is why I mentioned it in my copywriting video, you need to speak to and solve all three of those things in order to get someone to make a decision towards you. So, you know, the thoughts that they're thinking that they say out loud, the thoughts that they're thinking that they're not saying out loud, and then the thoughts they don't even know that they're thinking. So most people don't address the thoughts that they, they don't know that they're thinking. And now let's put that brain back in you, the business owner who wants them to turn into paying clients. You have the, those same brains, and in actuality, you have the same thought patterns. So you actually don't know what it is that you need to do in order to transform them into paying clients. And this is why most people don't do it because you actually don't realize it. This often happens to people who were successful in the past and then uh, over time they, they just end up like not, um, not, not, not being able to get clients. Because what ends up happening is that you, you start to like fall into a pattern about what you do. So you sell what you sell, maybe you develop some new programs, and you think that you're targeting your ideal client. So your business may be like, you know, decked out. You may have like a lot of programs going on and, and um, you feel like if somebody were to look at it from the outside, they'd be like, oh yeah, you know, this totally works. But somewhere inside of you, there has been a disconnect. A disconnect with uh, the people that you serve who have grown with you. So, you know, this is a passive audience. So that means that they've, they've grown with you over time. There's so much distraction out there. There's other people that are really fabulous who may be doing maybe even different things. And you've lost touch with the most important piece in this, which is yourself. I know, I'm so aligned, you know, oh, I meditate. Um, but this is that, I call it the thing behind the thing. The thing behind the thing is, is you know, that thing that, that, that you don't know. And so, you know, if your business is positioned correctly, you probably sell um, something or that, uh, that solved your problem. And when you launched it, because, you know, if you launched it to success, you were doing something because you, you knew something and you believed something uh, and you were, like, going at it, being you. Then over time, you know, with Facebook and social media, our fear brain's going off, um, and then just our 95% of repetitive thinking, it just has... It's become like this, um, this machine with no owner, with no operator. And then, you know, the fear brain takes over. Oh, my God, I'm not getting clients. And you start obsessing about, you know, getting clients. So are you following along? Because I, I know this, is, this may be kind of difficult to follow along. I probably should, like, draw a chart or something. Um, I'll, I'll do that in my, in my group later, maybe. But this is, the, this is what's going on in your brain. And so uh, the reality is, is that I'm going to say something, and this is going to sound really harsh, and I may lose people when I say this, but um, you don't believe in yourself. That because of social media, because of the comp competitors, because, you know, being an entrepreneur is like venturing into new things, you may have launched like really like strong and with conviction in yourself and like, I totally get it. You know, I found my solution. Oh my God, this is so great. And then over time, it could be like a week, a month, a year, you start seeing all these other people and they're so great. And our stupid thinking brain is going, oh my God, why can't you get clients? What's wrong with you? Why aren't you selling a million dollars overnight? What's going on? Oh my God, I need that. Oh my God. And you lost your belief in yourself. 
And no amount of meditation or anything like that is going to, um, to help you understand that. But I am going to tell you two questions that you can ask yourself that, um, that may help you like really dig deeper into this. Um, and then I'm going to give you an assignment of what to do to try to get some of that back, that belief. Because forget your business, but your belief in yourself is the most important thing. Because that's called self-esteem. That's your personal value. So these two questions, if you've ever listened to me, you, I'm sure you've heard them before, but this is like this is so critical to you um, transforming your business. Who are you and why are you here? Who are you? You know, uh, we all have the same amount of time in the day but, you know, we're on this earth for a reason. I know everybody's like, you know, your monthly goal, your monthly goal, you know, I, I want to make $10,000 a month. Like, all these things, and suddenly it's next year, and then it's next year, and then it's next year. And your life, first of all, your life is passing before you. Second of all, who are you and why are you here? If you were successful in your past and uh, at some point, you had like some sort of conviction in yourself. Uh, you, you were very confident in who you were and why you were here. And as a business owner, you know, when you show up as, uh, you know, I've got the solution. I just built my website. How great is this? Um, that was what your, your passive audience was looking for. So maybe, you know, you made sales then. And then uh, over time, you know, with the fear brain and everything, um, you just became uh, more involved with what's actually going on around you rather than what's going on inside of you. And again, with social media, so you just started to blend in and you lost that solid conviction in yourself. So if you ask yourself those two questions, who are you and why are you here? It's, it's a very deep question. You can ask it for yourself you know, as a whole in your life and then ask it as a business owner. Because if you're still listening right now, that means that you're more purpose-driven, that you want your life to have meaning, and that you want to deliver meaning in your business. That means that who you are and why are you online having a business? When you ha know the answer to that, your passive audience will be able to hear you. Because in fact, they're wondering the same things too about themselves and that thing behind the thing that they're looking for you about is, you know, found in that answer, who you are and why are you here? So this is a very, um, you know, I'm getting very deep and, um, but I, I think this is so important to you understanding what it is that people really need and what it is and just sum it up in one sentence. They need you to show up as the trusted advisor. <laughs> you're showing up and you're trying to sell what you have. You actually need to be what you're trying to sell. Whatever your, like, je ne sais quoi, your thing behind the thing is, they're looking, the reason why they keep tuning into your videos, reading your posts and everything, is that you have that certain something, but you lost it, so you're not actually being it. And until you can show up and actually believe in yourself from the inside, before you even show up online, then speak it out loud and with that solid conviction, with no attachment to the outcome, I call that NATO, that's the thing that they're looking for. They're looking for you to show up, to have the confidence inside of you about what it is that you do and show up as it, not just teach it, not just sell it, but be it. We're all, you know, this is Aristotle's story. We're, we're all the hero of our own story and we're looking for a guide. That guide doesn't just sell us something. That guide represents something. If you look at anybody you admire, 
Steve Jobs, um, you know, um, you know, anybody, you will see that they show up with a solid conviction in who they are and what they do. And that's why you admire them. It's not that Steve Jobs made the iPhone. It's that he was, you know, prolific. He took a stand. People hated him. He started as a failure. When you have a solid belief in yourself, people are showing up with guns to the battle. You have a bulldozer with cannons. Nothing sells like conviction. I can't hammer this home enough that when you actually believe in yourself, you don't need an email list. You don't need a, um, you know, you need those things, but you need, nothing will hold you back. Your voice will get into people's ears that are meant to hear it. You will be limitless. Does that sound like a big grand promise? I don't know. In the past two weeks, I've gotten five clients. And, you know, I have now an evergreen selling system that is just going to continue onward. Um, This is... It, it's if you want to like root it back, it's in science. It's based on how the brain works and how life works. That phrase "life happens for you" is not just a phrase. Life happens for you. It's supposed to. That's the way life is supposed to be. So if it's if you're struggling in some way, you've gotten in the way. So I have an assignment for you. And I'm going to read you what I did when I, when I did this. But I want you to go and write a manifesto about everything that you believe in. If you're brave enough, I want you to post it on Facebook and tag me in it. I want you to write a manifesto about everything you believe to be true for yourself about your business. So I'll post mine later, but I'm, I'm going to read you. Mine, I posted it a couple weeks ago when everything, um, just everything transformed. But this, this is what I believe, and this is what I get up and speak about every single day. It gets me past my health condition. It makes the people that are, are meant to hear me, hear me. And I get up every day excited instead of overwhelmed. I've become so obsessed with the message I'm delivering that I don't even have time for distraction. So this is mine, and then you just need to create yours. I am just I am not just a name on the on I am not just a name on a list. I don't belong in a funnel. I don't care if anyone likes me. And I'm definitely not part of the status quo. I could watch oh, it was posted under a Justin Timberlake video. This Justin Timberlake video for days. It's been my life. Being different, not always be accepted by the crowds, but with a mother that taught me to always speak my mind. And until today, I spent time rewriting my about page. After working with so many of my clients, helping them understand how their story plays into their business, I decided to rewrite mine for my upcoming rebrand. And I discovered a lot of amazing things, or rather, I was reminded of a lot of amazing things about myself that I'd forgotten over the course of the last few years. And I decided to reclaim my genius. I grew up ashamed of who I was. I was so different. But with my business and what I help my clients do every day is to be different. Different is better. Different stands out. And different makes you special. I am an independent leader who likes to speak my mind. I am an innovator and change maker. I do what works, not Harlow, not what is necessarily easy. If you don't like me, that's okay. I don't want to be liked by everyone, and I certainly don't like everyone. I believe in choosing who I surround myself with. People I believe in believe in me too. I believe you have to create your own happiness and, and will no longer be lured by shiny objects, but work to make myself the shiniest object in the room. I'm happiest when I'm creating, writing, and helping others understand their story. I have an eye for style, and everything I do, write, and say will celebrate that style. I believe everyone is beautiful in their own skin, in their own unique way, and once you discover that beauty, that genius, everything comes together. I believe cookie cutters are for cookies and not business models, not lifestyles, and certainly not people. 
I believe the freedom that everyone wants has nothing to do with location and everything to do with your mind and can be developed with courage and trust. I refuse to be around, follow, or let my visual world uh, with anyone that who talks down to people, who makes people feel less than, anyone who uses their power, influence, and other people's insecurities to make money for their own personal gain. I believe and know that if you don't have your health, nothing will ever be as good as you want it to be. I believe and teach active focus meditation because the power of your mind, you can overcome anything and everything, including your own health challenges, your business challenges, and your confidence. I refuse to follow what everyone is doing um, because even with the latest and greatest app, people are human and will never change. People I love are real. They don't follow the masses. They have a brain and they have genius ideas. They're leaders, rebels, change makers with lots of expertise and an iron will created from overcoming challenges. I thrive amongst people that believe, people that want real success, the kind that comes from helping others, being different, celebrating and living their life, loving their life out loud. Despite my challenges, despite a health condition that threatens my existence and will every day, I live to believe, to believe and help others believe that anything is possible. And with enough courage, with enough strength, and with enough self-love and self-trust, anything is possible. It's okay to be different. It's what makes you special. People may not like you. They may laugh at you. But the ones that love you will love you. Don't be afraid to stand out, to walk in your value, to care what other, to care what other people think. It doesn't matter, and it will hold you back. Your life has meaning, all of it. Celebrate it out loud in your life, in your business. Be you, be different, and be proud. That's it. That's my manifesto. And I want you to write yours. You know, you are somebody, and you were somebody before Facebook was created. And you were somebody before your business was created. And when you can show up and have the courage and conviction to speak out loud as that person to be the trusted advisor for the people that you are meant to serve, your passive audience will hear you and they will want what you have. What you sell is what you sell, but who you are is what people buy. So remember, you're a gift. Your gift as the different person you are with all your flaws, with everything that makes you who you are, The things that you beat yourself up about, those things make you gold. They helped you find your solution. And when you can show up as that and be proud of it, those people will respond. So anyway, sorry, I got a little passionate about all of this. And I know it's a little, um, it was probably, I probably lost everyone because I, I went into a lot of detail. But, um... Anyway, if you'd like, please share this with someone who needs to hear it. Come join me at the Genius Collective um, on Facebook um, where you can share your genius. Um, You have no competition because you stand out as a leader, being different and being you. You know, it's funny because many of my uh, position to sell new students um, do what I do. And one of them asked me, you know, is it, are you okay with that? I don't want you to think I stole. And I said, you're not me, and I'm not you. So we do two totally different things. We appeal to two totally different people. So, yes, I'm totally fine with that. So, you know, um, just know you don't have... Um, thank you, uh, Raquel, Rachel, Raquel. Um, anyway, um, please do that manifesto. Tag me in your post or just write it for yourself. I think this is an important step in your life to, um, to really understand who you are. Forget your business. To show up as you every day for your kids, for your family, for yourself. Because then all those times when your 80% negative thought are beating you up, you say, it's okay because I know what I stand for. I know that I'm a good person and I know, um, I know why I'm here. I'm here to do good in the world. So um, I look forward to seeing everyone's. If you want to come post it in my group, I would love that. Um, And, you know, I I launched my position to sell um, course uh, last week, uh, the hybrid course. 
and my webinar. And the price, uh, actually the cart closed yesterday. Um, I haven't had a chance to actually uh, increase the price. I'm, I'm actually uh, up leveling it a little bit and all my current students will get it, will get the up level. Uh, but the price is actually going up, but I actually haven't had a chance to change it because uh, I'm not a tech whiz and I had to fix some broken things today. But, so if you are interested in that, you can go to position to sell dot totalgenius.net and check it out to see if it's for you. If you want to watch the webinar, it's at positioned.totalgenius.net. If you want to message me or you know get in contact, um, show me your manifesto. I'd love that too. So have a great night, everyone. And remember, just believe in yourself. Be different. Be you. Bye.